Hello and welcome to Tail Hub, the Tail Hub powered by Priority TV. My name is Faye, the TV Godessa, and definitely I'm super duper excited to be right here with you. For those wondering what the show is all about, it is your favorite, it's going to be one of your favorite talk shows, if not your most favorite talk show. And um, yes, we involve ourselves in a chit chat with our guest and have other fun segments lined up to give you a wow, we wow, we wow, we program that keeps you absolutely glued to your devices. I hope you have fun watching this very episode because it promises to be fun. It promises to be exciting and yes i'm going to tell you guys to call your friends your frenemies your mom your dad whoever it is to sit right there with you because after this break we're going to know our guest on the show because i definitely have a guest and we kick start the show proper see you af right after this You are definitely still on to the tail hub and I am super, super duper excited to have this very young gentleman. I call him beautiful, but um, I think now he's tuning more to look like a man that he is supposed to be. No subs, because he stopped doing it before we started this. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas, we have with us right here the young, beautiful, as I said earlier on, Olumide Or, aka Tari of the John Saints. Oh my God. Like a spot on yeah, kind of I can thing. Hear, I can hear them. They're going wild. No, trust right. me, they're not. You listen. You're also. probably you're probably listening to moans, perhaps. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Thank yeah, you I'm I'm, I'm I'm blown Thank away. You, you know, I've, you know, I've been seeing you since you know, some Thank brotherly, you. sisterly love. Yeah. Of course. So guys, we're about to kick things <laughs> off right now in the discussion segment. Remember, I told you we're talking about uncaging your fear, and we are saying, you know, we have to take that big step. So how do you? Hotel fear or you know just kick it out of the way so i'm going to be asking the question first question right. what is fear to you basically um i think fear is just um i don't want to use the word in in the definition yeah um, but i would say fear is just a situation where you are hesitant to do something yeah because you feel like there's something holding you back holding you back yeah basically. i feel like that's that's what so fear when is. when when you talk about fear do you feel it's something that you can curtail is this something that you could just wake up one morning and decide you know what i'm not going to be fearful today and abracadabra to an extent gone. i feel like being afraid is is something that you learn over time um we all learn to be afraid of certain things yeah um, most times mainly by virtue of our environment mm -hmm. or just people that we relate with so you can overcome your fears. How? What's the process like? You're uh, fearful of, say, yeah. you have a boyfriend and um, he's someone who has starts. Only media started wearing starts, by the way. Um, so if you don't like What's guys that, so if you don't like guys that wear starts, um, please, he's a wrong candidate. But moving on. And if you like guys that wear, he's a right candidate. So you already, you know what I mean. Carry on. You're not the right candidate, but moving on they as... They speak for themselves. All right, so moving on. Yes. Um, so imagine you're with a guy who is probably wearing stores and your parents do not like guys yeah. that wear um, yeah. stores. But I mean, you definitely like that guy yeah. and everything. How do you break that? Because there's an African thing, yeah. African parents. How do you break that boundary, well, so I mean, to say? The first key is for him to not necessarily be introduced to them with the stores. You want to ease them into it. But then they find out at the end of the day. Yeah, but you want them to be able to understand who he is as a person. Because most times, people will judge you as soon as they see you with earrings as a guy. Yeah. So if you feel like his personality is good enough to stand with someone, you want them to understand that personality first. And then understand that, okay, he's just a nice guy. I'm going to add something to it. To so wear, you know. they meet your boyfriend who is all gorgeous, who is all, you know, he has money, has a car, yeah. he's intellectual and yeah. all that. And along the line, they meet him and he's putting on studs and perhaps taking a drink or two. Yeah. Wouldn't that mentality change? No, no, it will change, but it won't be as it might change, but it won't be as drastic. So your parents tell you him, if they met him first day, he has studs in and he comes through the bottle of alcohol and he's like, aha, daddy, we are <laughs> chop no <laughs> go. Yeah, you know, like you know, you want to ease into that. You know? yeah. So, yeah. So for you, have you had that experience of battling with something you were very fearful about, and how were you able to surmount it? Right. Well, let's just start. What 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 scares you, Lumi? I mean, there, there are different fears <laughs> I've had in my life. Yeah. So I mean, let's and, let's just start. I mean, there's fear of my mom. That's you know, legit. Important fears. Parents. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But I mean, I would say fear fear of failure is one of my biggest fears. Um, cause I'm my, I'm my own biggest critique, um, mm -hmm. and I 
I'm really hard on myself. Yeah. Um, and I just, over time, could not even process the thoughts of not being good at something mm -hmm. that I thought I wanted to do. Yeah. So that was, that was really hard for me. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, over time, you know, I've learned to set uh, realistic goals. Um, what do you mean by realistic? What, you know, what, what were the unrealistic goals you set when you Not started? Not unrealistic per se, but I like, to, I like to take things one step at a time. I like to live in the now. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm that kind of person. Yeah. So I don't want to say like, oh yeah, I want like, you know, 30 billion, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, no, nah, okay, I know I want 30 billion, but what do I need to do now? It's going to so, make that happen. Yeah. That's what I want to focus on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be telling everybody I want to get 30 billion. When it comes, then you'll see. Then, yes, so, definitely. Yeah. All right, so let's just talk. Let me divert to this angle. The religious mm -hmm. angle right now is tithing has become quite an issue. Yes. Um, now, you see many pastors come out to say, you know what, if you don't pay your tithe, you're not going to make heaven. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be the... There's this sort of fear imbibed into the congregation, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. So how necessarily... Let, let me just know your, your take on that, and then let's link fear to it. What is the sense, for lack of better words, <laughs> for putting that fear into people yeah. of, you know, not tithing? Um, you know, at the end of the day, there's, there's so many other fears. Do you tithe? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I believe religion, whatever religion it is, um, would for the purpose of this discussion, mm -hmm. is Christianity. So yeah. if you're a Christian, and it's a personal journey, um, going to church doesn't make you the most righteous person, Definitely. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and not going to church also doesn't make you any less righteous. Um, I see church as just something that keeps you in check. Mm -hmm. You know, like you feel like you're going astray, you feel like True. you've arrived, you're doing things on your own, and you go to church and it puts your life back in perspective. Back in, yeah. You're like, okay, do you know what? You're here by grace mm -hmm. and you've achieved xyz not by sight do you understand yeah so that's what church does you know yeah. i mean i don't feel like if you go to church 365 days a year heaven is short for you because mm -hmm. there's so many other things that goes with, with being that. a christian um so i feel like if you want to pay your tithe if you feel like that's what your journey is about if you mm -hmm. feel like you key into the benefits um of paying tithe then yeah by all means mm -hmm. and if you feel like you don't want to but i mean you might not pay it like physically into church, but if you feel like you want to take a percentage of your income and use it to help other people, because I've heard people say that, yeah, um, you know, I'm not going to pay my tax to church. I'm just going to I'm gonna invest in a charity or that something. Kind of thing. If you feel like that's what you're about, then by all means go for it. Go. But at the end of the day, we're all running separate races, and we really don't know who's wrong, who's right. Who's right? Yeah. We're all just trying to be right. Um, True. So whatever it is that you hold on to, hold on to it and believe in it until the end. Okay. So on to fear again. Now. Um, Fear is normal. You started acting at the age of six, if yes, I'm not mistaken. Yes. What was going through your mind at that no, age? I don't know. I was just playing. Like, it wasn't even a thing. I was just so it, there was there was no oh, are they going to like me on the screens? No, there was I there was no. Even, I didn't even understand the like that going on like that acting would make you like popular and become a celebrity. Like I just like the environment. So you always wanted to act, basically. Not necessarily. Oh. Um, I started off modeling and doing radio voice yeah. when I was a lot younger. Oh. And I've always been very... Husband animated. material, a thousand years. <laughs> yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> I've, I've always been very animated, um, yeah. you know, in how I describe things. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I've always liked to talk um, to, to people. So mm -hmm. I, my mom just took me to audition. I feel like she just thought we would try out. Try, yeah. You know, no pressure, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we went, I auditioned for Everyday People. Then I got on that, did that for about eight Everyday years. People, that has been, I mean, that's ages. Yeah. Throwback, childhood yeah. memories, definitely, yeah. So, yeah. You know, then after that, you know, I was still doing it for fun. But then as I got older, I knew I liked it, but I still didn't see it as a career choice mm -hmm. until I finished secondary school. And I'm like, wait, though. <laughs> this team might actually work. Yeah. And, yeah. So how was it? Um, you just told your mom, mom, I just want to act. There was no... You want us younger? Yeah, I mean... She just took me. She just said, oh, we're going to... Another no, chance. but when, when you decided you had finished school and maybe you wanted to go to university no, and we, then we, you we, said... We spoke, we spoke and we're like... Because, I mean, if... I was still doing this. If I was doing this, if I had picked science yeah. in secondary school, I would still be in secondary school, trying to pass physics and chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. There was no, my head is not built for those two subjects. Because you know, there's always this fear of you know, as Kunle Remy did on on, I think he was talking about uncaging his fear, yeah. and he said, okay, I've always wanted to be an entertainer, yeah. but the society just expects you to go to school, study the special yeah, class exactly. So you have to study exactly. agricultural science, and look at him right now. He's not even but practicing he had, that. He, he had there's this fear. Yeah, I mean. That's the thing. Some people try to study things that it's not, 
for them. Exactly. But you don't know if it was a struggle for him to because he didn't go in depth into fair that. Enough, fair we didn't know it was a struggle. Finished. Yes. That's the key. If you know you can't finish. What did you finish with third class? Finish is the most important thing because at the end of the day is how you can apply it. Mm. And I feel like that's the problem. A lot of people get stuck up in the grade. You wash your grade. And at the end of the day, once you finish uni, it doesn't really matter. What people want to know is how what can, can you, you offer? make money? What can you offer? What can you bring to the table? Your grade is just for your pockets. Mm. And in your living room, so your parents can brag about it. You don't go everywhere yeah. and say, hi, my name's Olumdi, I finished with first class. Yeah, and true. I'm not saying I finished with that, because that was an example. No, no, no. But sorry, what did you finish with? Nice two more. Oh, Very okay. strong. Smooth, yes. Yeah. Smooth sailor. You know how yeah, how yeah. All right, so uh, moving on to the next question. Yes. <laughs> um, so there's this fear, basically, for people in terms of um, your career. Right. Um, the career, a, a lot of people are doing several things or you're doing the same thing with mm -hmm. a particular person. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're studying, for instance, I'm an OAP, mm -hmm. I'm a presenter. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of OAPs out there. Mm -hmm. Now, what gives you that vibe to know that, okay, I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to conquer. Right. No matter if, I mean, if there are other people out there who have been in the business for 16 years, I'm mm -hmm. just getting into that and it's just maybe the first right. year. So right. how do you gain that confidence right. to know that, okay, I can as well yeah. do what they are doing or yeah. achieve what they have achieved in 16 years mm -hmm. in one year. Because, and, and, I, and I would also add, it's quite easy for some people to decide that you're not going to be fearless. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side, there are others who can't seem to achieve mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, let me just I hear your thoughts. How much work have you put in, in the bank? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you can be confident of how much work, you know like, let me use it like in school, and you have like a test on an exam, and you're sure that this subject to have read cover to cover. Like this course, I've but sometimes it fails you. Sometimes it does, and that's life, mm -hmm. right? Which is true. But the fact is, going into that exam, you were confident, yeah, because you know how much work you put in in the back, as opposed to when you know you haven't really done too much. You're like, ah, please, please. You're I already gumming body with somebody. Do you understand? Show and then me, you show get me, there and you realize you know it, but mm. you didn't go there confident. Mm. Um, so it's the process of going in that's key, because at the end of the day. You might write all the all the good answers, but then when they're marking, person marking is just not in the best of moods, and you, you don't get as good a grade. So you can't really do too much to affect that outcome. Mm -hmm. It's just how you go into the exam, man. Yeah. That's kind of how life works as well. Is there will always be a million and one people doing what you want to do. Yeah. Um, there's almost nothing new. So now the thing is, you can see what they're doing, right? The easiest way to be confident about what you're doing is identifying what you're doing that they're not doing or what they're doing that you, that do, you better, can do better, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And if you have that and you put in the amount of work, work doesn't just mean reading books on how to be an OAP. Um, I mean, the truth about it is reading can be boring. Reading is one thing, practicing yeah. is another. Yeah, but you have, you have you, you, to, you read. Need to read. You need to, and you the need reading to culture learn. is... Yeah, you know, well, I mean, if you can't put in the hours of studying, you can't expect to... I yeah, mean, knowledge is not just, Low. You know, I mean, It's not like, you know, where you can, like, you know, put like a USB in your head <laughs> and you get all files. I feel like it. technology will probably dry, get to that place. I mean, it'd be nice when, you mean, like, when the baby's born and ask the parents, I mean, what do you want your child to be? <laughs> Doctor, okay, transferring medicine files. <laughs> <laughs> into that person's brain. Yeah. That be easier that way, but but really I feel easy. like if it's going to work that way, the end of the world is probably already setting in. No, the so. end of the world, I feel like <laughs> the end of the world, there's still a few things for some of us. For to us do. to do, yeah? yeah? Like get married? Yeah. Are you in a relationship? Not yet. Oh, why? You know, I'm just trying to find somebody that, you know, I can. So are we, are, we, are we saying right now that only media is single and searching? Yeah. I, I think I, I'm, you know, I think I'm, I should settle down. Not like settle down, you know what I mean? Like settle you know, with a girl in a, in a serious relationship and see what happens. Oh, okay, great. So yeah. let's move on to you're given a task, um, you have a task mm -hmm. to be done. You have tried mm -hmm. several times mm -hmm. and you have failed. Mm -hmm. There's this fear of I try again, I'm mm -hmm. going to fail. Mm -hmm. What's that one word you would tell such a person who perhaps is watching right now? Well, the first thing is for all those times where you're doing the same thing for the next time. Mm -hmm. um, if you were doing the same thing, expecting a change, there's a bit of a problem there. Um, so you need you need to work on that. You need to change something. Um, you can't do the same thing and expect different results. Now, if you have been changing things and it hasn't been working, it's fine. I've been to plenty of auditions that they still haven't gotten back to me yet. And they tell you, oh, you're great. You yeah, were so great. Back to you. And they're like, oh, another one bad, man. <laughs> you know, first day, second day, third month, three years, and nobody's buzzed you. Well, it happens. You can't, yeah. you can't get everything one time. People are lucky. First time, boom, it works. For some of us, sometimes we need to yes. do things multiple times. Okay. But if you really believe in it and you feel like it's something that you want to do, at some point, 
it will work out as long as you keep changing what you're doing. You know, there's that saying, it's not how many times you fall, how many times you get up. Mm -hmm. And it's easy, it's easy for me to sit here and just tell you, oh yeah, it's easy, you know, because it But it really isn't. It really isn't, it really isn't. Um, I mean, I know how much work I've had to put in the back, um, you know, to get to where I am now. Yeah. And this is nowhere near where I'm trying to be, so. All right, good stuff. So we definitely go on another break right now. Um, apparently, we have some fun segments to come. Do you know how to calculate? Let me do. Um, like two plus two is four. Exactly. That's what we're doing. Three, so, guys, keep it locked. We're about to have some fun right on the set. It's still the tail hop. We'll see you soon. Welcome back, guys. We're moving on to the segment called How Well Do You Know Your Then Ellipses. One, two, three. So we're about to do some fun things with calculation. Mm. You know, I hate maths. Me too. Okay, so let's just mess ourselves up. Also. But the problem is, you already know what you want to ask. No, I don't. So you practice. Listen first. But carry on. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with a particular number. I could say mm -hmm. two plus two. You say four. Okay. If you say four plus something, then I give the answer. So whatever oh, feels, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, ginger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, eight plus eight? Sixteen. So. Nine plus four? Thirteen. Mm, um, thirteen plus twelve? Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-five. Okay, you've lost that round. You start again. <laughs> so you start now. Um, thirteen plus eleven. Um, twenty-four. 24 plus um, 25? 49. Uh, so? 32 plus 33. Uh, 32 plus 33, 50. 32 plus 33, 50. 32 plus 33, 56. 32, 32 plus 33, 55. 32 plus 33, 65. 65. Wow. Yes. You lost that round. 65. After how many are you? It's all your business. So it's 1-1. One, one. So who starts? Your theory, your theory, though? No, it's you, it's you. Okay. You, you. Um, 2 times 6. 12. 9 times 3. 12. 18. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's why it's 7. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I am the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Please, I've got to finish. Okay. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's... Okay. Wow, I can't imagine I lost that. <sighs> 10 times 3. 30. 14. Uh uh. Wait now. Uh uh. Relax. Really, we did 1 to 12 in school. Don't, don't, don't take me no, to 1 no, to 12. It's a plus one, remember that? Okay. okay, okay. 9 times 9. 81. Okay. Um, 10 times 12. It's 120. Okay. I'm easy on you right yeah. now. Yeah. So be easy on 7 you. times 6. 42. Okay. Um, 12 times. Um, 12 times 6. 72. <laughs> um, 12 times 8. 86. <laughs> yes, now 12 times 8. I'm correct. 86. I got no. that. 12 times 8. 8 times 8 is 16. It's Wait, no. let's calculate this thing. That's what I was calculating. 8 times 11 is 88. It's 88. So 88 so, plus 8. Ah, let me do 96. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do um, 12 plus 12. 24. 13 plus 13. 26. Um, 14 plus 12. 26. Okay. 11 times 3. 33. Okay. Um, 4 times 9. 36. 6 times 11. 66. <laughs> um, 13 plus 13. 26. 13 plus 16. Plus 16. 16. 16. Yeah. That's 29. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> 17 times 3. Yo, you said. <laughs> See, I don't even know. There's no need. Let's okay, so who's the winner of this round? Me, clearly. I think I'll chain one. Who? So, rather, you did now. Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Continue, continue. Shake. No, no, no. I mean, I give you a handshake. All right, guys. So, we go on I'm another break that. right now. But we give a round of applause to Olivia Day. Yeah, definitely. You deserve some accolades. Yeah, exactly. Have you done your stuff well, for that? Not yet. Okay, but you're, you're definitely going yes, to do that. Yes. All right, guys. So, we go on another break. And when we return, definitely start to kick ourselves off the set. I hope you're having fun so far. See you right after this.
Okay, so I definitely hope you've had so much fun listening to us, you know, talking about uncaging your fear, basically taking that very big step. And I know that this young gentleman, impeccable of an impeccable character, has been able to imbibe a few things into your brains, into your heart, into your mind that you would definitely get to act on from today until the rest of your life. So, um, Olumide, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. For coming on the set. Yeah. This is quite formal. Because yeah. I know after this, we're probably going to beat ourselves up. Because I want you to see <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Does it grant you entrance to heaven? But, um, all right, guys. So I definitely hope that you have learned a lot on today's um, episode. We'll be here again some other time. But I'm going to leave you with this quote today. It means, I mean, it says that when you gradually go closer to that very thing you fear, at the end of the day, that thing loses its power and its grip on you. So always face your fear. Um, I mean, just... Process it, and at the end of the day, I know you will conquer it. You can follow me up on um, Instagram at Faye underscore Godessa, and also follow us up on Priority TV on IG. Remember to also subscribe and hit the notification button on YouTube at Priority TV. Well, let me uh, you can follow me, <laughs> but please follow me. Uh -huh. That's it, thank um, you so much. Yeah, yeah, but my, my social media handles are or my handle is at Olumide Oru on everything Instagram. Snapchat, Twitter, at Olumide Oru, which is my name. All right, guys. So, so we see you, see you again some other time. Remember to leave love and be happy always. You only live once. So make the best of your life from today till eternity. We love you. Bye for now.